Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about unexpected bread and butter Bolo items, items that people bought low and sold for a decent profit. So what I consider bread and butter is $35 or less. That's just what my bread and butter videos are. But people have different definitions of what bread and butter Bolos are. Let me know in the comments what you would consider bread and butter. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Sometimes it's easier to find items, items that sell quickly, items that you have sold over and over again that you always look for. You call that your bread and butter. Let me know what you what your bread and butter is. So in this video, I am going to share with you bread and butter bolos that are unexpected that were shared by my Bolo Buddies Facebook group members. So I posted this screenshot in the group and what they do is they go down to the comments and they share a screenshot and they tell me where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for. And then I make a video for everyone to learn. So this helps me learn, it helps you guys learn and it's just a super fun way to collab with other people. So I've got 20 bread and butter bolos coming your way in this video and we're gonna get started. All right, I will be looking at my computer, reading off what they wrote. Um, the first item here is really cool. She sourced it at a kid's consignment event and bought it for $4. It's a Bath and Body Works candle, um, three wick candle, and it sold for $20 plus shipping. So a lot of the Bath and Body discontinued uh, candles can be a bread and butter, but they can also be bigger money too. So look those up. Bought this at a yard sale for a dollar. Took a best offer of 28 with free shipping. It's a vintage Ireland World Cup green snapback hat. Um, this one comes from 1987 Ventures. Uh, that's her YouTube channel. Uh, Tracy is her name and this is her channel. So be sure to go and sub her up. Here is mine. I got this in a mystery box from a thrift store. My eBay sale went off and someone purchased for full asking price. So I run sales. And periodically when my sales are off, I forget to turn the sale on and something will sell for full asking price. And I'm like, yes, do you guys ever do that? If you do, let me know in the comments, but definitely look up ornaments. Some of them may surprise you. This one is Carlton Cards and it's Betty Boop and she's on a motorcycle. It's from 2003 and I sold this for $25 plus shipping. The next one comes from Mom's Nose Treasures, who is also a Bolo Buddies member and she bought this at a yard sale and let's see for a buck or two took about five months to sell buyer used 14 percent off promo code from my ebay store uh, buyer stated he used to have one like this in the 70s and had been looking for one as at a reasonable price so it is a vintage calculator and it sold for 27 dollars 46 plus shipping Purchased at the Goodwill, paid 75 cents, and it sold in a couple hours on Mercari for $35. Okay, so it's a vintage 1960s Pyrex. It's a half pint bowl. That's what it looks like. Got them at a thrift store for $2, sold fast for asking price. They are vintage Darice, D-A-R-I-C-E, I think I'm saying that right doll yarn heads <gasps> plastic heads sealed eight of them so it's like a crafter's lot sold for $29.99 plus shipping picked up at an estate sale for free my favorite number this was uh in throw pile garbage I asked to go through the throwaway pile and found other stuff empty vintage boxes are good sellers so this is a vintage pin 940 Levelmatic antique fishing reel empty box with papers. $25. That's awesome. And that is true. Some of those vintage boxes. Got this at a garage sale for $1.50. And it sold for $180 on eBay in two days. Okay, this is not bread and butter, y'all. But I'm going to share it because uh, it's pretty cool. And this one comes from uh, Bolo Buddies member Electric garage sale electric garage sales 
and I'll pop it up here. But he does not have a YouTube channel, but he has an amazing eBay store. And he sources a lot of stuff from estate sale cleanouts. It's a rare original vintage Nichols and Shepard threshing machinery catalog. Very cool. This came in a lot of old dolls I purchased, probably spent $6 on her. This one comes from, let me see, Vintage, uh, Vintage Barbie. And she has a new YouTube channel, so go and sub her up here and show her some love. But she knows a lot about these old collectible dolls. Uh, this one sold for, it's Brooke Shields. It's Brooke Shields Barbie from 1982, sold for $27.52. And when I say Bolo Buddies member, that means they are a member of my Bolo Buddies channel and they have joined for perks. So they get shout outs and videos like this. Um, to get the shout outs in the videos, it's level two and it's $4.99 a month. My channel is completely free. This is just if you want the perks. All right, the next one. Bought this salt and pepper set at the Goodwill bins for about 70 cents. Thought they were cute. Then I searched them and saw how much they were going for and how many have sold recently. Listed a week ago, sold today. I have no idea why they are so popular. They're adorable. Uh, Target T-Rex dinosaur salt and pepper shakers. So they're not vintage. They're just Target brand, but sold for $34.78. Got these at an estate sale in a large, sorry, I couldn't remember which one I was stopping at. Got these at an estate sale in a large lot for $8. These I might be in for about $2 total. Took about a month to sell for full asking price of $27.99. They are vintage shaving br brushes. Lot of five Erskine or Erskine opal variety. How fun is that? $27.99 plus shipping. Bought at the bins for like 40 cents and sold in a week. You guys, it is a vintage. Uh, I think it's vintage. The Yes, vintage. The Marx Ingalls Reader by Karl Marx and Frederick Ingalls, 1978 paperback. So it's a book. Free around the house, brand new, never used, all hemp nation vintage sells well. Sold for $30.99. It is Australian gold hemp nation sugar plum cookie lotion. Original free shipping on that one. I got this teddy bear over a year ago, paid maybe a dollar for him. I had 10% off sale on various items, but he finally sold. He's from the 80s, new with tags. The clothes I took off of Barbie, I bought to resell, so it's pretty much free. Um, so the teddy bear sold for $39.97 with free shipping, and the Barbie clothing sold for $16 free shipping. So yeah, a lot of times you can um, part out those Barbie clothes. I made friends with an estate uh, cleanup organizer and I pick up media for free. Books, CDs, cassettes, vinyls. Uh, these came in a bag full of CDs and cassettes for free. Separated these blanks and pre-recorded cassettes and was surprised to find out they sell rather quickly. Bundled these for a seven day auction with a final bid of $18.49 and partial shipping. Sold in about two weeks. We'll keep my eye out for cassettes. So blank media, some of the blank media can be a bolo. Um, just one tape can go, I don't know, 10, 20 bucks, sometimes more. I just sold some. I'm trying to remember what mine sold for. I'll try to remember to pop up my recent sale here. Um, I had somebody buy it and they didn't pay and then they bought it again and didn't pay. And then somebody else bought it and didn't pay. And I feel like they were just trying to get mine off of eBay and so when somebody bought it this time, I think they had zero feedback. And I'm like, they're not going to pay. And they actually paid. So again, I'll try to pop that up here. This one cost me $1 at the Goodwill and I sold it for $9 plus shipping. So it's a vintage 7x4 wall plaque, um, Mary Joseph Jesus cross molded plastic. So um, here it is. And this one comes from Electric Garage Sale also. This one comes from a rural squirrel, and she is a Benz, Goodwill Benz shopper, records her stuff on YouTube, 
such a fun channel. If you guys have never been to the Benz, definitely check out her videos. Um, she finds really great stuff. But anyhow, she said, I have been picking up Victoria's Secret nightgowns for years and they consistently sell for $30 to $40. I picked up this one at the Benz and it cost me less than a dollar by weight. So nighties are really lightweight lingerie. She said, I accepted a best offer on this one of $35 on eBay and I had it listed for $39.99. So it's a Victoria's Secret um, nightgown. Somebody wrote, yes, I find anything Victoria's Secret sells for me. Okay, this one comes from, from Antiques from Karen Janet is her YouTube channel. It looks like this. And she bought an estate out and this is definitely not a bread and butter. She put it under the wrong post, but I'm still going to share it with you guys. But her channel is about um, a hoarded, she calls it a hoarded estate from her mother that was, she took over. And she's learning about all of these bolos because her mother owned like an antique shop. And it's just amazing, amazing bolos. Anyway, this is a vintage Tyco HO scale NASCAR Thunder. It's a slot car racetrack and it sold for $350. This is not a boat or a bread and butter bolo. This is a big money bolo, but you definitely want to look out for this. I bought some dishes. Okay, this is from the Rebel Reseller. Amazing YouTube channel. Check her out. She tell, sells tons of plush, but she also sells other stuff. This one is going to shock you. Um, bought some dishes at a yard sale and they were wrapped in these bags. Just because I'm a reseller, I looked them up to see if they had any resale value. Yep, they do. She sold them for $10. Walmart blue plastic shopping bags, 2001 rollback smiley face, lot of six. 10 bucks, you guys, plus shipping. That is awesome. Somebody wrote genius. So funny, right? Paid a dollar on dollar day, sold for full price. It is a vintage Siri glass, your craft, I, some sort of stained glass thing. I can't see its entirety in the picture, but she sold this for $34.50 plus shipping. This one comes from Butterfly Hustle. She also has a YouTube channel. I don't know if I already shared one in this video or it was another one, but great YouTube channel does thrift hauls and takes you shopping with her. So check her channel out 20 more. So this is going to have 40. All right. I got this in a bag of random things from the Goodwill for $2 and 99 cents. I listed this and all the other items, mostly Christmas ornaments about 129 total after all sales. So her bread and butter are Christmas ornaments. It's a van vintage fancy ornate gold color metal wax. Oh, it's not a Christmas ornament. It was just in a bag with them. It's a letter stamp and it's the letter D and it sold for $24.95. This one comes from Flippin' It Good and um, he's a bolo finder. He does a lot of retail arbitrage, recently doing pallets. So check him out. He said, every time I see action figures at yard sales, I buy them and lot them up. This came with the Professor X with wheelchair character, which sold for 20 plus shipping. I sold the rest as a lot of 70 plus shipping. I found them for four bucks at a yard sale. That's awesome. So they're X-Men, Marvel. This one comes from uh, Terry Mindful Recycle, who has an amazing YouTube channel. Also Bolo Buddies member, and she is a moderator of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. So show her some love. Purchased at a garage sale last summer. I've had it listed for about five months. Paid $3 and sold it for $34.99. It is a Star Trek uh, Deep Space Nine. It's a DVD. So a lot of people, bread and butter to them are DVDs and media items. This one comes from Carrie from Be Carried Away YouTube channel. She is also a moderator of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. And she's a Bolo Finder as well. These vintage recipe pie plates vary, but are generally worth picking up. Salvation Army, $2.99 and sold for $44.99. And she is correct. Um, if you see a um, dish with a recipe in it, definitely look it up. Some can go for big money. Somebody put literally picked these up and put these down at Goodwill yesterday. Ah! Somebody else said, oh my goodness, me too. Uh, they had pecan, apple, etc. I thought they were too pricey at $5.99. So this is a great way to learn. 
got this Scooby-Doo plush from a vending machine. A stranger gave it to me. So free. I sold it for $30 within a couple weeks. It is a Warner Brothers Hanna-Barbera Scooby-Doo plush. And 30 bucks free shipping on that. This one comes from Where Pigs Fly Farm YouTube channel. Awesome content. Great cause. It's a nonprofit for rescued animals. Definitely go check out their channel. They started doing what sold videos over there as another revenue that they can help uh, support their uh, nonprofit. So check them out. Picked this up with a bunch of other sombreros at live auction. Paid less than a dollar. Had it listed for 40 and took a best offer of 32 Learned from watching your YouTube channel to pick up sombreros. So it was probably like in one of my bolo category videos or something that somebody sold because I have not sold one of these, but I do so many videos about so many items and it's just amazing. Anyways, um, I did do a video on straw hats where I talked about straw hats. So that may be the one she's talking about. And I learned about straw hats from Butterfly Hustle's YouTube channel. So you see, watching other YouTubers, I'm learning too. Uh, very cool hat. Free at a yard sale. Sold for $10 on Parsh. <gasps> oh my gosh. I am so sorry. This one comes from Mom's Nose Treasures. I'm going to try to say this one more time. Free at a yard sale. Sold for $10 on Poshmark in only a few days. I made $7.05 off of free. I like using Photo Editor and putting nice kitchen or dinner backgrounds to make items look extra cool. Oh, that's funny. So she used like um, an app to put in the kitchen. That's not her kitchen. That's so funny. Um, Dickie's Barbecue Pit. They're plastic cups. I never, never would have listed these. That is amazing. Um, she said, don't sleep on plastic cups, especially advertising, nostalgic items, etc. Got these for 50 cents and sold for 12 on Mercari. They took a while on eBay some are listed for only four for a pair. These were promos that I believe came with bunny spoons originally from what I can see from other posts. They sat for a few months. So they're Nesquik promo cups and she's the one that just sold the other cups. So how fun is that? I buy Kipling bags and sell the monkeys. It's like free money. I'm not crazy about the charms. So she buys the bags and keeps the bags and she doesn't like the charm. So she sells them. And this charm sold for $22.99. It's a key ring, basically. That's so funny. That's great. It's smart. Um, I have sold uh, Coach Bag um, charms, not charms, key rings. The ones that hook to the bag, the little charms. I do pretty good with the Coach. I bought this for $2 at the Salvation Army thrift store, and it sold for $19.99. It is a Tulft crochet kit alexander the cat level one beginner wool huh okay we got another one you ready i got this at the goodwill in the box of something else i got to sell i paid 7.99 for it and have it listed for 100 it hasn't sold yet i decided to list this too since kmart isn't around anymore i sold it the next day for full asking price of buyer paid shipping how weird is it that two people sold plastic bags in this video? Vintage Kmart large K graphic plastic store shopping bag. And she put movie photo prop, $19.95 it sold for. Wow. And the buyer paid shipping. <laughs> oh my goodness. Everybody's like leaving comments about the, the bags. This one comes from Butterfly Hustles. Bought these for a dollar at the Goodwill on Dollar Day. I asked my daughter if she wanted them. She said no. So I listed them and they sold the next day for full price. H&M paper bag olive green pants. $29 plus shipping. Okay. This one comes from moderator of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, Carrie. From YouTube channel Be Carried Away. Naomi's Biscotti Jars. An unexpected bread and butter bolo. They are collectible in range and price. Paid $2.99 at the Salvation Army and sold for $25 on Poshmark. So it's a cookie jar. And this is what it looks like. The next one comes from Mom's Nose Treasures. I got a lot of vinyl records from an online auction um, from T. They are great bread and butter and sell pretty quick. 
So um, the YouTube auction she got it from is Auctions For You. And um, I have her link down in the description. She, um, Auctions For You and Donatella Bottolino, I go to their auctions on YouTube all the time and I buy from them. So I do have them linked down in the description. So it looks like she sold one for 19 and sold the other for 18. Oh, and 23 and 23. So it looks like four separate records there. And Donatella Bottolino and T Auctions for you, they sell vinyl in huge lots. So usually can get a good deal. I'm really surprised on this one. Paid $1.99 at a thrift store. Had it listed high because it was the only one on eBay. I saw one on YouTube once and the video was about 10 years old. Buyer got it when my store was on sale at 20% off. My Little Pony Nightlight plug-in. I had it. I had a bunch of likers. Looks like it sold for $19.20 plus shipping. Found a rack of women's pants. These are most definitely men's. At the Salvation Army, half off spring sale for $1.49. Sold in a, a week. This is another big money bolo that got put in the wrong spot, but I'm going to share it. They are a pair of T. Berry Knicker Company. K-N-I-C-K-E-R. Um... And Barry is B-A-R-R-Y. Never heard of that brand. And they're golf pants. Pleated golf pants. Paid 69 cents for this cute bunny. Uh, plush at a Goodwill. Sold for best offer of 20 plus shipping on Facebook Marketplace. I went off of cute factor rather than it being a particular brand. It says vintage Lemonwood Asia yellow white Easter bunny rabbit. Yes, plush bunnies can, they do good. Somebody put in the comments, nice flip, hate to say it, but you may have underpriced your item, but you have a bolo on your hands now. Um, yeah, you always want to look up comps, but it looks like they pulled up a couple here. One sold for 60 and another one sold for 60. And those were the same lemon wood Asia plush. So um, and that one was yellow. It was really cute. I was thinking the same thing, like, ooh, that was kind of low. But um, you just never know. You got to look things up. Definitely look comps. Um, this one comes from Mom's Nose Treasures. Sold for $36 plus $27.75. Um, I purchased it in 2017 as part of an Amazon Try It group I was in. They would send coupons for items really cheap. In an effort to get reviews, I bought two, one for $3.20 and one for $5. Huh. Sold one to a family member recently for $30. They opened it up and it was in perfect condition. People who snore or have heartburn buy these pillows. Relax home life, so it's a wedge pillow. Sold it for $36 plus shipping. All right, you guys, that was 40 unexpected bread and butter bolo items, items to be on the lookout for. Hopefully you find these items. And I'm going to remember that brand of that little bunny because I like selling bunnies. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.